This is Solendra by Fixie and Mex. It's 141.94 megabytes to download. This does require five mods for you to be able to play it. They are the Bavarian Farm Pack, Log Cabbing Farmhouse, Polish House, Homestead Pig Barn, and the Barn with Cow Shed. They will automatically download when you start downloading this map if you haven't got them already. The description says there, welcome to Solendra. The Solendra map is modelled after the Balkan terrain. The main part of the map is a forest that has very inaccessible terrain. Start your career and discover the numerous challenges that awaits you. On the map you will find small fields and things like varied terrain, added trees and foliage textures, new ground paint textures, five playable farms, changed lighting, 32 fields, gas station, possibility to fill water from the pond, animal dealer, collectibles, sawmill, points of sale for, uh, sorry, points of selling bells, points of selling products, points of selling grain, basically points of sales, milk sale point, seasonal objects, very detailed forest with very challenging terrain. And it says right at the bottom, hope you enjoy the map, I wish you a nice game. So let's go and check it out. And here we are, this is where you start off in all three modes. Now I have to say, there's something about this map. I really like it. It's not going to be for everyone, it's a very small map. Very small fields, which we'll see in a second. Uh, there's also no traffic or people walking around, so I know that's going to be a big no-no for some people. I do usually like that, but I, I don't know, it's something drawing me on this map. It's got a very old sort of vintage vibe about it and most of you who know me by now know that I do like that sort of thing the older style equipment and maps and things like that but this is the map guys it is a very small map like I say so if we push out to the actual edges of where we would be on a 2x map <laughs> that is it so it's literally that very small fields we are actually here flashing there like so there is this is the forest area they talk about which is a little bit bumpy we will end up down there i'm not going to drive all the way in there but i'll give you a sort of sneak peek a little taste of what it is all about there is only one production on here and that is the sawmill which is up here which again is very interesting but it's quite nice to see that Normally a lot of maps you get lots and lots of production so I quit, think that's quite pretty cool. Fits in with the map. Uh, there's not really a lot of room for adding much else on there. Now I am in new farmer mode. And in new farmer mode we start off with these two plots. So this is our farm, plot 16. And this is our field, plot 17. They are separate to buy. And as you can imagine it's pretty cheap on here. So the actual field that we own in new farmer mode is just over five grand and the little farmhouse area 7632 it does say there is five playable farms which there is so obviously one here which is our one in new farm mode is number one or one of the farms there's another one over here that has pigs on it there's one up the top left that's got sheep on there's one here which is the biggest one out of the five that's got cows and chickens and also a silo and then there's one down the bottom here which literally just has one shed but this one does come with a field as well which is number six over here just over 30 grand for that plot i think this plot here also comes with a field yes it does 28 grand the big farm is 180 grand bang on and then the pig farm which is just there 36 grand field prices as you can imagine are very cheap 20 is just over two and a half grand and i think this plot here which does take in this area as well is the most expensive at 48 grand just over there is some meadows like 49 that's 39 grand one there 39 like so but you can pretty much buy most of this map there's a couple of forestry areas there's a more accessible one up here that is just over 25 grand and then when you get down into this area where you've got the bumpy tracks 
it's all sort of split up into chunks but they are very affordable as you can see a grand for that one just over three thousand just a grand again 25 grand so it's obviously more trees there to be felled you can buy the outside of the map that has got a value of zero though so it's not going to cost you anything it does also take in some of this middle section where the shop are some of the sale points etc and also up here where the sawmill is so that's not going to cost you anything so not too bad at all if we go through all the other bits and bobs and then we'll get going it's not going to take us too long there is 12 collectibles on here they are the cheese wedges we will pick a couple of them up as we go around don't start off with any productions because there is none technically apart from the sawmill but you can buy the sawmill um contracts are available on the fields you don't own but obviously with them being very small they are not going to pay out a huge amount and animals it does show four pens and pastures there because on the other farms that do have animals that we don't own we can use them which is pretty cool and we can also use the farmhouses as sleep triggers if you want to moving on we don't start off with a lot of equipment there is no custom crops and the ca uh, crop calendar is standard so that is all that bit out of the way um, mods most of it to be fair is part of that Bavarian farm pack so it's just giving an example some of the fields this is one of the bigger ones this little fella so yeah most of it is part of the Bavarian par uh, farm pack which is a very very decent mod pack if you're not aware of it it's got some really cool pieces of equipment in there very sort of old style looking things but in sheds I think it is all the sheds for sort of from that pack like so we do have things in silos as well again that's all part of the Bavarian farm pack that is the multi-fruit silo which is on the big farm 2 million litre capacity that's a cool silo as well very cheap silo extensions we've got a manure heap extension that's up at the cow farm area and again these are part of the Bavarian thing we've got seed storage diesel tank water tank I don't think there was anything in tools in farmhouses we've got a couple we've got the Bavarian farm pack one we've got the log cabin which is one of the other mods and one of the other mods also is the Polish house which is just there I don't think where are we looking at my notes nothing else I think in animals was the next thing so we've got two cow sheds and barns modded in and a pigsty and then also if we scroll along chickens we've got this chicken coop which is part of the Bavarian farm pack again nothing in decoration in landscaping and painting we've got a few extra textures there's a couple of animal muds a few asphalts a couple of concretes dirt forest ground quite a few grass and then it's all gravel the rest of it which isn't bad so we've got quite a few options there but that is it that is all that bit out of the way i think we are ready to crack on just check my notes we'll do this little bit first on foot to be fair we could probably do all of it on foot but we will grab our tractor where our farm is literally just over there um, but right here next to us we have a sale point and this is the farm shop sale point it is labeled up as the jardins blah 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 from oak belleron but that is the farm shop sale point nice little bus stop there i don't think a bus is going to come down here though <laughs> but it's really nicely done nice decoration like i say really nice old feel to it just in here is one of the farms this is the pig one so that is the polish house i think and like i say we can use that as a sleep trigger we don't own this plot of land um, we do have three beehives on here that is your pallet spawn location and one of the sheds from the Bavarian pack and we've got a little pigsty which is one of the mods as well this will hold 10 pigs like so you can open this gate and go in if you want to got a feed trough just here and then water trough like so which is nice and if we head on out of there and this is literally like I say our farm here this is our field ready to go wheat that is our harvester 
again if I go up into this mode you can see the size of the field so that harvester is absolute overkill really for <laughs> that little field but it's quite cool so you can easily swap out all your equipment if you want to go a bit more vintage and smaller and then just here is the entrance to our sort of farm area I guess so as you can see we've got a trailer we've got three beehives as well ourselves and we've got the pallet location point there another sleep trigger same house do start off with two big bags of seed as you can see like so and then we've got some equipment there and there's our tractor that is all we start off with that's probably all you can fit in here to be honest with you so we'll go through equipment and slot counts now so the slot count in new farmer mode is 813 um, you do start off with the same equipment in all three modes but the slot count slightly different because farm managers start from scratch you do not start off owning any land at all i'll go through that in a second but the equipment you start off with like i say in all three modes we've got the Buer small tractor russell mass harvester the valga trailer header for your harvester the pottinger plow the rabe cultivator and the nord sten cedar so as you can see all small equipment that is it now if you wanted to get rid of all that equipment and like i say go for something a little bit more older looking style there's plenty of mods out there now if you sell off all of that equipment and get it down to 756 and in farm manager and start from scratch the slot count is 806 but like i say you start off with the same equipment i've just showed you you just don't own any land right let's get going like i said we probably could do all this on foot but we will take the little buer for a spin and we will go down this way right in front of us we do have a fuel station which again even feels sort of like old it looks almost derelict but there we go not too bad and if we go up this way as you can see there is a few trees dotted around I'm gonna jump out here because if we follow this track up just behind this building here we've got another cell point and this is a Zito product which is cool obviously you do have sell points for everything that you are gonna want to sell base game that is um, debris crusher on our left hand side and we've got a little bit of sort of construction going on here building some sort of house I don't know building but just here this is called the plank selling station so obviously you can sell planks here but you can also sell wood chips and furniture which is handy right but obviously you're not going to be able to produce furniture yet so moving on from here we've got some very cool looking huts to our left They're pretty smart right this is the big farm so this is the cow farm we will drive in because we're going to drive all the way through basically i will turn off the tractor there so we can hear do have the farmhouse obviously sleep trigger again we can use and this is that silo i do really like this silo uh tip in there pipe out there two million liter capacity multi-fruit like i say um little sheds again seems to be the same and then we do have the cow barn here this will hold 20 cows so not a huge amount i'll start in this corner and we'll work back because i need to open those doors so that we can drive all the way through this is the manure heap um, storage so you're going to be able to collect it from there i think that's four million liters that will hold a little bit of storage space here all these doors open which is cool so you've got part of that building all storage space they are a little bit creaky they will open so it looks like you could store grain in here possibly i don't think there's any lights in here couldn't find any light switches um just here is going to be our slurry collection point and we can go up this ladder 
this door will open eventually you don't even have to duck down you can just walk in there's quite a big sort of hayloft area so you can store pallets up here from that sort of area there's also a door down here if you wanted to use like a telehandler maybe to put bells up here like so so that's pretty handy come and useful uh, there is a door here I don't think you're really going to use this for anything I think it's just more decoration it's kind of like a little workshop area like so and then we've got these doors where we can open up this one on the right is more of a sort of storage area again which is cool so plenty of storage at this farm did I open that one I thought I did and then just through here we do have some I'm guessing they're calves because they're quite small but they kind of looked out like shrunken down cows don't look that young but through here we can drive all the way through but feed troughs straw triggers just in here and we are gonna drive all the way through because out the back we do have a oh there is a gate there actually isn't there ah i did not see that i drove through here earlier and just cut through the cow barn I thought surely there must be a and there is there's a gate and there's a bunker silo which I miss so we do have a bunker silo here which is nice nice grass field over there but you don't get that as part of this plot you'll have to buy that milk collection point around the back and then we do have a chicken pasture I think this is base game one this will hold 30 chicks um, feed trigger there and your eggs will spawn in that area just there and we do have a gate coming up which I need to open so yeah that's another grass area there a bit bumpy so just to our right that is the animal dealer sell point so selling your bells and things like that um what was that one that's a spinnery it says spinnery but um well it's just a sale point it's not um a production oh hang on is it actually well that's a bit odd that says sale point oh that's the logo for sale point it is a spinnery you can buy hmm okay there you go there's a spinnery on here so you can obviously sell your wool there and if you're doing cotton but you can buy that if you wish to so there is another production on here that's my bad I missed that again it's been one of those days so moving out of there as you can see a lot of it is all custom sort of buildings which is pretty nice and this is our sawmill again as you can see it's all sort of custom so you sell your wood just there this is a lot cheaper as well this is only 60 grand and just there look guys there is a cheese wedge a thousand pounds euros or dollars whatever you're playing on your planks will appear here and then your wood chips will appear out there so out of our sawmill tractor's not very fast but I think it still would be quicker than walking though I don't think we would get very far if we were running or it wouldn't be any quicker so this is our sheep farm so we've got a pasture I hold 15 sheep we need to give them water feed trough just there and then the wall's going to appear there another little barn and another farmhouse with a sleep trigger another little shed this is the field that comes with that plot but just behind it here we do have a grass field so you could buy that that would come in very handy if you are going down the sheep route oh I'm not looking I'm looking at my notes <laughs> oh dear like I say one of those days right let's head out of here 
huge dent in our front of our tractor. We'll go down this way. It is a little bit bumpy. You do have these things on the map as well. It's like straw or something like that. I'm not sure if anyone can tell me what they are. That would be handy. As you can see, fields are very small. But I quite like it. Um, I'll quickly show you the edge of the map because we are right there. It's pretty much blocked off. Where are we? There by just big mound so we can't go any further so it's kind of disguised as well which isn't bad as you can see it's pretty good I've seen a lot worse so we're now going past the pig farm again which is where we started and the sail point and we're going to head down now and finish off down at the sort of south part of the map couple of little houses here and if we swing a left we'll carry on down this end there is potential to join these fields up look especially ones like these there's no trees at all in between them so you could plow those three together and turn it into a slightly bigger one not huge again but uh, just in here this is our separate workshop trigger now you can go up the ramp if you want where's the icon gone there we go like so and you can go out that way there's also a building there which has got like a mechanics pit in there so if you wanted to simulate you were working in there as well you can do I quite like that that's separate from the shop area as well because this to our left now in here is the shop area and your reset point is just roughly about here and there's your shop icon and then back out and this is the pond and as you can see that is where your cheese wedges there's another one just there look if we collect that that's appeared there so we've got two there joined together look so eventually it will produce a wheel of cheese and this is the pond you can get water from there it says it in the description i have tested it it does work so it's nice that you can get free water on the map and if we were to take this track to our right there's also another bit just there it will take us all through into these fields over this back edge so you go through a little bit of a not really a ford but you know and you've got these fields at the back again meadows not huge fields uh this field here i think it is 31 i bought all of the map and it wouldn't let me sell this one for some reason it was coming up with a warning saying you cannot sell this with placeables on here well, i can't actually see anything on here because obviously sometimes you get like the wind turbines that generate money but i can't there's obviously something that's conflict in it but I'm not quite sure but anyway we will move on up into this area just to our left that is the field that comes with this next farm which is in front of us we are going to stop about there because just up this hill we've got our animal dealer like so this is going to show all the pens and pastures because we can use them now obviously these animals aren't moving but at least there's something there I'd rather have something than nothing and if we run down in here we've got this farm which is pretty basic we've got a couple of sheds and we've got the log cabin this is one of the other mods this is a pretty cool mod as well we can go in like so nicely detailed in here sleep triggers anywhere in here so you can come up to this door you can't go in that door but it looks very nice nice fire going on pretty cool mod that and then that is pretty much it what we're going to do is head on down into this forest area just to give you a little idea of what's going on down here 
do have quite a decent sized meadow to our right up there you can just about see it on the mini map but this does get a little bit bumpy through here but you're probably going to make a decent amount of money chopping some of these trees down but it could be a little bit challenging depending on what you're using and like I say I'm not going to go all the way in but I'm just going to give you an example so it does turn right back on itself and you start going down but as you can see it is a little bit bumpy and there is a pretty cool waterfall just here nice sound effects to go with the image so there you go we are down here so we're not even right down in there yet but that is the map guys so we kind of did started here did that sale point pig farm our farm down here and we kind of went like that didn't we and then through there in there out and then we're down here that is the map that is Solendra so I hope you have all enjoyed it Ooh, where are we going please let me know your thoughts on it I think it's quite cool though just the fact that there's not any people that's the only downside for me I think it's pretty smart nicely detailed like I said that old vibe feel to it I quite like it but I hope you have all enjoyed the map tour nice one to do um, if you have please hit that like button if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing that'd be fantastic and don't forget to smash that bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine i've been farm sim snowy stay frosty